tired. <sighs> oh my. So starting new things can be exciting, but it's also a grind. Like it takes a lot of work to do that. So in this video, I kind of want to talk about the grind of becoming a PTA. Gotta keep them pearly white looking white, you know what I mean? <sighs> Ready. New things like starting the PTA program is fun and it's exciting, but it takes a lot of work. Just like this. I got a new cat. Look at this thing. Say what's up, Nova. Say what's up, girl. What's up, girl? What's up? So I got a new cat, and it's a lot of work to take care of a cat. Like, I have to feed it and, like, play cat stuff with it and, like, train it to do, do flips and stuff. It's just a lot of work. I'm just kidding. This cat, like, takes care of itself. It, like, cleans itself and it feeds itself and... It takes care of me and, and cooks me dinner and stuff. It's quite easy, actually. Some things, on the other hand, require more work. For example, I'm working on how to become a PTA online course, and it's pretty much done. But in my head, I thought it would be such a simple process. I thought that it would be like, oh, let's put this course together. This is something fun I wanted to do. But then as I started to do it, it took so much more time and so much more effort than I originally thought. And so some things we do can be easy like taking care of a cat and some other things can be a lot more challenging like making an online course so what about when it comes to becoming a PTA though oh, got it the idea of becoming a physical therapist assistant is really exciting starting something new starting anything new is really exciting and becoming a physical therapist seems like awesome and stuff until you have the first day of school and you're like Oh, kill me now, you know, like it's so much work and so much effort because it really is. There's a lot of hard work that it takes to become a PTA. You have to study, you have to prepare for tests, you have to prepare for your lab practicals, you have to practice for your lab practicals, you have to prepare for your final licensure examination. There's just so much that you have to do along the way and there's always something else. I remember like back when, um, back when I was in school, I remember that when we got breaks like spring break or Thanksgiving or like any day off of school and it was supposed to be relaxing and like enjoyable with your family and friends, I would still always be thinking about upcoming tests and upcoming assignments that were due and so I could never fully relax and so that was even a grind just going through the whole program. Let's ask Megan what her struggles were. Ugh. What was the process like for you? Honestly, the schooling to be a PTA was a long time ago but I, the process for PT school, it was like a part of my life so I would like be playing cards with my notes by my side like always had them with me so whether it was with friends or family I just had like my school stuff was always there and I would always like review it throughout the day I'd take it to work with me I just it was part of my life it was kind of like intertwined and I remember at one actually at one of my clinicals when I was almost done with PT school um, my CI said you know you better enjoy this last little bit as a student you know because then you're gonna have to work and I'm thinking in my head like wouldn't that be great if I could just work and not like study and work and try to balance your family and like all this stuff. So uh, it was just a lot. Becoming a PTA or a PT does take a lot of effort and energy. And sometimes when we're in the moment, we're just waiting for the day of completion. Like the day we finally become a PTA and we're licensed or become a PT and we're licensed. And sometimes we can just think like, that's when all my problems will go away is the moment I complete it and that's what's exciting for you. But I don't want you to just neglect the enjoyment of the process of doing it. Sometimes we can just focus our eyes on the new thing or when we finish this, then my life will be great. But we neglect the process and I feel like a lot of the experience is just walking through that journey and that can be enjoyable if you make it enjoyable. And the reason I say to try to enjoy the process is because there will always be something new. like. 
once I became a PTA, it was good. It was like a breath of fresh air. But then like our next adventure was like opening a PT clinic. And then the next adventure after that, like the thing we're currently doing is looking to get a new facility because we've outgrown the one we're currently at. Look at that's our that's our new facility that we plan on buying right there. Right there. Tri-County Bank, baby. And so if I never pause to just stop and appreciate what's going on in the process of building an online course or doing anything, then I feel like my life will just go by and I'll be always waiting in anticipation for the next thing. My friend Ferris Bueller says it the best. Yep, I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. You know, uh, strike a pose, girl. Strike a pose. Can't see you. You're black. You're standing in front of that thing. <laughs>